Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching How to Get Away with Murder Season 1 Episode 14. This is called The Night Lila Died. Before I continue with this, I thought that I would point out that yes, I am in a new location. Um, I also have cut my hair if you have not seen my Lost or my Arrow reactions. Um, I did that over the vacation. I had my mom cut my hair, so that's gone now. Um, I have a new webcam. And I have a filter for my mic, so I've been able to actually turn the sound up on my microphone now. And uh, so we're going to see how this works out. I'm in my living room. Um, my webcam is on a stand behind my laptop. So it's not exactly in the same location. And you can see my webcam likes to focus, so you may see it doing that at times. I've actually seen it freeze, but it's only for a couple, like for like a second or so. Um, hopefully that doesn't keep happening. I haven't seen it happen for a while. I've had this webcam plugged in for a few hours just watching it and seeing if it messes up. Um, sometimes I've seen some kind of pixelated thing go across the screen. Um, but it's usually like if something, you know, gets pulled up in front of it. Um, but hopefully everything will be okay. I really like this webcam. It's actually a lot wider than this screen. Um, I've shortened it, like I've cut off parts of the webcam so it would fit in this little box. Um, I may be changing the layout of the way I do my videos. I'm not sure yet. Um, I don't want to like copy other reactors, you know, so this setup is kind of like my own setup. And so I kind of liked it because it was me. Um, but if you guys would like me to change the layout, please. It, it won't hurt my feelings. It's just, you know, I had to make do with the webcam I had, which was um, my laptop webcam, which is what I record on. And it was small, so it wouldn't fit the screen. So I had to come up with something else. And this is what I came up with. Um, but if you guys would like me to change it, that's cool. Just let me know. Um, I can try some new things, maybe. Um, I might be getting some new editing software for my birthday, which is coming up in less than, in, in about a week. Um, I may not. I don't know. Well, time will tell on that one. Um, but anyway, so I'm in my living room. I'm comfortable, so I think I can actually sit and record more often, um, if I do it here. But if you guys prefer me to be in my kitchen, please also let me know that. Um, I just, I kind of like this better. It's more comfortable for me. And you guys don't have to look at my refrigerator <laughs> when you watch my reactions. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this episode. I need to ask her. No. If I'm wrong, she'll clear it up. Or she'll freak out, Wes. You know her. Is something wrong? What do you mean? I just feel like something's wrong and you're not saying anything. Nothing's wrong. Rebecca maybe killed Lila, which means what we did to her husband was all a giant mistake. Please tell me how that's a good idea. Well, it's not really a mistake. I mean, they killed her husband because he was trying to kill Rebecca. I mean, they didn't kill him because he killed Lila. Just, they, that's how they justified what they did. Everything bad that's happened to me is because of you. What? How's that? Ever since I met you, I started acting crazy. Wait, because you had sex? How is that my fault? I would have never even flirted with Darcy if you weren't in my head all the time. Um, okay. Look, okay, you were just a way to escape my stupid life for a little while. I was bored and confused, but I'm done acting like some trashed out druggy whore. That may be fine for you. My parents raised me better. Get out of my okay, house. what a bitch. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> oh, come on. I've had a good boy for so long. No, I just want to do something bad. We need to get tested. You know, one in five gay guys is HIV positive, and half of them don't even know hey, it. Dr. Oliver, I get it. I just want to true. do this the right way. Well, I mean, I don't know if that st statistic is together. true, but they should be tested. It'll just be to make romantic. sure. It's a safe thing to do. But given the gruesome nature of the crime, coupled with the defendant's police background and the potential for flight risk, 
I am denying the request for bail. Judge, please, there's the no reason. The court's made its decision. Put your energy into the trial counsel. He's an idiot for not firing that lawyer. He's not, <laughs> don't want them to. You call him an idiot, but you're the one that put okay, him in that situation. I murdered a fellow man on the cloth. I deserve no concession. You just got for his forgiveness right. You can't tell me that there aren't times you spell sermons you don't believe in. This is no different, Father. You pled guilty at the arraignment weeks ago. I know. What if I changed my mind? Be honest with me, are you too? No, absolutely not. I've never been unfaithful to God in that way. Then why did her coming into this courtroom cause you to change your mind? Father Crawford felt pressured to take the plea. Way. It did not pressure him. Then who was it, Miss Keating? Me, Your Honor. I didn't take the time to properly explain his options to him. It was my mistake, not Father Crawford's. And now that I've had the time to look over the case, he's changed his mind. I bet that hurt her to do. <laughs> like, say she was wrong. I bet that hurt her. Well, see, I can understand the whole sleeping together thing now because she wants to get back at Lila for what Lila said about her. If I could get that. She barely I still don't know if I believe the murder thing, though. And all of a sudden, she's up my ass. She wants to hang out all the time, and she cries when I say no. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was true. Griffin said that she did that. There you go. I come around this pew here, and I see Father Bernard laying there with his head cracked open never seen so much blood the wall was sprayed with it his bible sitting on the floor beside him was practically floating in it why would i want to do that because just the sight of you in the courtroom gave him second thoughts about spending 30 years behind bars a student killed himself brian caymans he hanged himself in his grandma's garage let me guess he was an altar boy getting the holy treatment from some of the priests here not all priests are pedophiles since one truth brian and father andrew spent a lot of time in the darkroom together doing photography and i did not touch that boy you. you had to silence father bernard because he knew your dirty little secret how dare you i humiliated myself in court for you father that he was being abused by someone shortly after his death i came to learn that person was father bernard that's why i killed him and i'd do it again he never mentioned brian by name i tried to stop myself i did but i knew they'd just transfer him that he'd find another Brian. Yeah, but murder doesn't really make you better than him. And when it didn't, I was confused. So Nothing saying that the guy didn't deserve it, because, you know, he was a pedophile, but I'm just saying that murder doesn't make him better than the other guy. I mean, and I know he can't go to the cops because it's a confession, it's private. You claim that their relationship was platonic. I don't know, it's complicated. Get the hell out of here! Griffin? I got your text. Lila. You still think he's worth it? I never want to see either of you again. It's one night. I could use the cash. You should come by after work, free beer. I don't know. Um, I think we're going to be stuck working on this case for a while. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know what was going on there because of all of this. So she's at the campus police. The DA will knock it down the bottom. I wonder why. You no God should forgive me for all the bad things that I've done. Is your connection at the central jail still good? Maybe. Is this about Nate? Something happened to him? Not yet. What? She gonna have someone hurt Nate? Haven't you hurt Nate enough? Forty years. How often do you use a condom? <laughs> okay, you know, I mean, definitely when I'm on the bottom bunk, and I'd say 80% on top. I heard it's harder to contract if you're... On the top bunk? Yeah. That's wrong. You can contract HIV, giving and receiving. Wish me luck. Uh, excuse me, could, could you give me my results over the phone? Yep. Judge Redding already denied the request for a new bail hearing. 
she ordered him to be placed in solitary instead. Well, that plan backfired, didn't it? Look at the way Bonnie's looking at her like she can't believe that she did that. Secret agent man. All mission, no details. That's how I like to roll. BRB. Just do it, my lord. Are they gonna bribe her? Like, blackmail her? Or whatever? We were being intimate. Objection. We received no notice of an alibi defense. How dare you? You wanna win, don't you? This isn't Christmas morning, Oliver. Just tell me. Right. I'm negative. Damn it. What? I think it's just she didn't leave a message because it's bad news, right? That's not what that means. I came to see him after Vespers. That's enough. Sit down. Your Honor. In control of your client, Counselor. We need a recess. I want to change my plea. Again? I plead guilty and confess to the murder of Father Bernard. Your I plead guilty to first degree murder. I won't change my mind again. You can fix this still, right? Agnes, Please be stop. I love you. That is what's it's true. It's done. I love you. And I don't love you. So please. Nah, just he's leave. doing this because he loves her. Who's HIV negative? Oh mm. yeah, dog. See Ross getting the ass beat up tonight. <laughs> really high. <laughs> but you know, I still have to uh, go back and get tested again in three months. Dude, I'm I'm totally down with our Rainbow Coalition, but I don't need to know all the details of your sexy times. If she killed Lila, what? Excuse me? He doesn't know if she lied He's... to me. She said she didn't know the guy who lived in my place before me, but she did, and he saw her come home right the night Lila was killed. Leave you. Why am I gonna do that after everything you've done? Yeah, you really. Fired, charged with murder. You died in that jail. My lawyer didn't get rid of the judge. Actually, she kind of did got that. I rid of the judge. If this isn't a clear conflict of interest. I don't know it what is. It was one harmless conversation. I know his. Which father. is grounds for a recusal? Call the number. Wes, no, do not look at him. You ruined our lives. Don't you get that? You dragged us into the horror show that is your life, and now. We're all screwed. Actually, Forever. Wes did that. Wes that dragged them into it. Answer the question. I found the campus cop. This car one of yours? She asked you to go okay. into her house. And this fired a couple days after Sam disappeared. Some sorority girls filed a report that he was stalking them. I'm guessing that was Annalise and Frank, right? Don't make me call him. Oh, she's blackmailing them. Are you gonna be nice and come over later, like you said? Does a dog like to bury his bone? You two are that stupid, huh? <gasps> yeah. You know, Frankie D. But don't worry, I won't tell Annalise. Or maybe I will. What the hell's going on? What's going on? Okay, guys, so that was the end of episode 14 of season one of How to Get Away with Murder. And yeah, uh, we have. <sighs> okay, so we saw some more of the night Lila died, obviously, because that's what this episode was supposed to be about. And the things that Griffin said that Rebecca did seems to have been true. Um he said that Rebecca and him were upstairs and um, having sex and that had Rebecca had used his phone to text her to come. That way she would see them. And then Lila lost it, attacked, and um, Rebecca was smiling. And so all of that was true. But to be fair, what he also said or what we saw was that um, what Lila said was true when she was trying to, when she was leaving a message for Lila on the phone that, you know, she didn't have to do barely anything and that she doesn't think that, you know, like that was, wasn't Griffin's first time having sex. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems to me because she did, like did nothing pretty much. He, he just like attacked her. So not like attack, attack, but you know what I mean? Um, and she was at the sorority house and, um, it seems to me at the end there that Rebecca, that Rebecca was threatening them that the security guard that saw them taking the body out, she knows where he is and she could give him a call. Um, I don't remember anything being said about Annalise and them getting him fired or 
or whatever um, to get rid of him. I, I don't remember any of that. So maybe I just missed it or it was just something they did behind the scenes. And um, yeah, so I don't know. That was a little confusing for me. I was a little distracted toward the middle of the episode because I had kids stuff going on here. Um, so yeah, so I got, I was aggravated and pissed off when I came back from when I paused it. So, um, yeah, so I missed a little bit in the middle there, but, uh, yeah, so we still don't know whether Rebecca killed Lila or not. It's still not clear. Um, they've tied her up and gagged her <laughs> and now they've brought Annalise into it and it's like, what do we do? So I'm kind of interested in what, <laughs> what the plan is. Um, then we also had Nate in this episode. Uh, he never fired his lawyer and called the number Annalise, um, left for him when she visited him in jail. And so we're still... Uh, she's trying to she's trying to help him even though she's the one that put him there she's the one that planted all this evidence on him and now she's like it's like you're gonna go to jail because of all the evidence against you I've seen it I was like of course you've seen it you're the one that did it so just I don't know what her plan is I don't know how she thinks she's gonna get him off I I really don't know um she had Frank uses connections to have Nate beat up because she thought that if he was being beat up in prison that the judge would let him get out on bail, but this judge didn't want to, so then they used Asher to make her recuse herself, <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Everything's all kaflooey to me. Um, Asher now knows that Frank knows about him and Bonnie and he's like, you know, I'm not going to tell Annalise or, or maybe I will, you know, kind of thing. Um, I don't think he's going to. I mean, like Annalise is anyone to judge. Okay. I'm just going to say that right now. She's no one to judge. And, um, I just can't believe that Bonnie actually likes Asher. He's such a doofus. And if he didn't, talk as much crap as he does and make these stupid moves and I don't know it's just it's not my cup of tea he annoys me yeah he's funny sometimes but most of the time he's just annoying the crap out of me um we also had uh Connor and Oliver they were making out and Oliver put a stop to it said they needed to go get tested which is good. That was a smart thing to do, especially with, with, uh, Connor. Um, Connor's been around the block, so <laughs> it's a good thing. Um, they both got their test results. They're both clean. So yay. Good for them. Hopefully from now on, Connor is going to be smart and, um, wrap it up every time, not just sometimes. And, uh, cause he seemed generally frightened. <laughs> Because he, uh, you know, he's he's been around, so he got lucky, I think. So anyway, um, I enjoyed this episode. I'm really looking forward to the finale. Hopefully, we're finally going to know what happened to Lila, and that will be the end of season one. I'm super, super excited. I hope you guys are excited to watch it with me. If you guys... Uh, enjoyed my reaction please give this video a like if you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to please leave that down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye